Gamer with Lime here, and today we're going to be talking about a couple different ways you guys can actually record your Xbox One gameplay without a capture device. So there will be a couple things you're going to need for this. One will be actual Windows 10. Um, you have to have be running that on your computer, and then there are other things are the Xbox Beta app. You can actually find it in the Windows Store. I already have it installed here, and then your final thing will actually be uh, OBS Studio which is found at obsproject.com. That's if you actually are going to need it. Um, it's, it might be possible that you may not need it, providing that your computer actually can um, process it, the video itself. So in order for Windows to actually do it itself and not need OBS, basically it actually talks about the hardware requirements for game DVR on Windows 10. So there are three different ones. You have the Intel, the NVIDIA, and then AMD. Um, and then the thing that says video cards to support Intel QuickSync is HD graphics for uh, 4200 or later, Intel Iris graphics 5100 or later, and the video cards that support NVIDIA NVNC codec include GeForce uh, 600 series or later, but not. And it actually has this listing here. So it tells you, but not. These other ones here and says there, some models may work, some models may work. Um, GeForce 600M series or later. So these, don't forget, these are saying, you know, video cards to support include um, the ones there, but not. So the ones that they list here are basically the ones they're saying will probably not work. So if you're unsure, you could actually try it. It's not going to hurt to try. Or if you actually know what your video card is. Uh, it also states here too to check the video card on your PC, go to search box on the taskbar and search for device manager. Uh, and device manager, expand display properties. So the thing is, is that, like I said, it's not going to hurt for you guys to try it. Shows here too, video cards to support AMD, VCE include. So it tells you card models that are actually here that are included. And if you happen to not be able to do it, then this is the message that's going to come up on your uh, Windows 10 is basically, sorry, this PC doesn't meet the hardware requirements for recording clips. But that's not a problem at all. I mean, it's not essential. There is still another way to do it. That's where actual uh, the OBS program is going to come into play. So. Uh, first, we're going to actually talk about the um, Windows 10 program itself. So I'm just using OBS basically to uh, record this. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to go onto the Xbox One uh, beta app. And you can look here. This is my home uh, area here. And the thing is, if we go down to this little icon here, that'll be for your console itself. But we can actually go to settings first. So what we're going to do, uh, game DVR, and we're just going to go down and look into some of these things. Maximum record time, I have this set at one hour. You can do 30 minutes or two hours or one hour, obviously. Uh, down here, saving captures. This is, you can have your, your it'll open your, your folder that is. This is where it actually shows the captures are. And then there's another spot here. I haven't clicked on it myself, but I believe you can actually change the directory you want it installed to. So audio, uh, record audio when I record game clips, you're gonna turn that on if it's not already on and then record my microphone next time I record a game. So you can actually turn that on, then you can mix here. So this is actually, I have this set on the second bar from the top and this is basically in the middle. Now you may need to adjust that possibly depending on which way. Um, and the other thing is too, is that this actually, the way I'm doing it, I have it set up on my PC. So the microphone that I'm actually using is my microphone onto the PC itself. That's how I'm actually recording. So it's not like I'm actually recording my uh, my voice from the Xbox One itself. I'm actually adding this in on top of my regular um, chat, basically. So the thing is, is that um, I'm not sure. It may be possible. I haven't found a way that it actually works directly off the console itself. Now, it might be different if you plug the controller into the PC and try and run audio that way. Maybe it's a totally different story. But the only way I found you can actually record your own voice is if you go in and use a PC microphone, set it up as your default. And then on here, this will actually be your microphone that you're using on your PC. Now, video recording or video encoding, I should say, um, has a couple of different things here. It has high, standard high and then 60 frames per second. I have it set on 60. And then here, video resolution is standard and high. Now, if you go to a high setting, uh, just says this may affect game performance. 
So I don't know what the difference is between the two. I'm just going to leave it on standard just for the sake of it. You could obviously try it if you choose to. And now what's going to happen is we'll go over to the Xbox One. And on here, it actually has a stream quality. Now it has low, medium, high, and very high. I believe the high setting is about 9 um, megabits. And the very high is about 14. I think I was watching a video somewhere that actually talked about the rates for that. And it did say that very high was 14 or something. So but we're just going to go for high. Um, the big thing is, is that I have my Elgato if I choose to actually do it that way. But it's just, I'm, I'm just doing this tutorial for you guys just to show you how you can do this without the capture card itself. So by all means, if you choose to, you can actually go and put this on very high, see if it runs on your computer perfectly fine. I don't have a clue. I don't know what the difference is between one and the other. Um, but because you will need to still stream this to your console, basically. So what you're going to do is now you're going to click on this little icon here. Now, if your console is not detected, we're just going to remove my console for a second. We're going to go ahead and disconnect. And it shows here. It says there. Uh, now it is on, but it's just not connected. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And it's going to go on. Now we're, what we're going to do is hit the Steam. Or Stream, I should say, not Steam. Hit the Stream, and what's going to happen is now this is sending it from the Xbox One console to the PC. It says there are no controllers attached to this PC. Um, attach either or attach one to either this PC or to your Xbox One and press continue. The thing is, is my actual uh, Xbox One already has a controller set up on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and go continue because I'm not going to play it off my PC. I'm going to go ahead and play it off my Xbox console itself. So now that you have this up, you can actually just go ahead and hit your win alt and R. I don't know. Um, your win alt and R key. And it'll actually show this recording up in the corner here. And like I said, it's going to record your uh, microphone volume and then whatever is on the screen at the present time here. So uh, fairly simple. Whatever you have running here, it'll actually record that. It won't be an issue. I'm just going to load up Paladin, Paladins here. Except for the fact my controller batteries are dead. So we're just going to leave it as this. Now you can do the same thing again. Hit your Win key, Alt, and your R. That's going to stop your recording. So now it shows your game game clip is recorded. So this would be where if you go to do that, that's going to give you that error if your computer is not capable of it. And that's where OBS is going to come in. I'm actually using OBS right now to capture the screen. So as you can see, whatever I have in the front of the screen, uh, that's what's going to show up on the actual OBS software. So um, OBS, basically, on the left-hand side here, you have display capture. And that's going to be my screen. I'll just show you here. If I go to settings, um, it actually has two different screens here, display zero and display one. Uh, now, if you do have one or more than one display, you can set it so your game capture goes to one display and you can record it from there. Or you can actually uh, just take OBS and make sure it's not on top. Because This is what's going to happen when OBS is on top. You're just going to get a bunch of repeating windows all the time. So basically, um, all you have to do in order to add your display capture, you just go plus, and then that's going to be it. Just do your display capture here. And then I obviously have other ones here. I have one for my um, webcam, and I have another one for my Elgato, I think. Or no, sorry, not my Elgato. That's video capture. But I think I added one before or something, too. So it's going to come up. And obviously, if you have this here, too, you can add the existing. Um, but what you'll have to do is, is create the new one. I'll just show you quickly here. Now I have a new one on top of that, so it's actually showing more windows on top again. So we don't need to have the number four, so I'll just take that off. And as you can see, I can turn the layers off and on. So that's my display capture that's going to pop up there, depending on what I'm going to do. Um, audio input capture. This is my microphone itself on my PC. So you'll, you'll want to actually add something for your PC if you intend to... Um, actually have audio you want to capture now, if you're just going to start you know basically just doing a basic recording no audio added maybe you want to do audio later then that's perfectly fine but this is the way you need to set it up for here i'll just go to your settings tab and just show you guys quickly um now they're for recording uh these are your actual settings here 1920 by 1080 
and then the bit rate of 10,000. Now, if you have it on the same setting, which is roughly about 9,000, then you'll want this on 10 just to make sure you're covered. Um, and there is also two different codecs you can use. You can use the X264, or I should say three, depending on your actual video card. Uh, you can use the X264. That's for the um, Intel, I believe it is. And then if you pull down this menu for the encoder, I can't do it right now because I'm using this to record with, then there's also going to be uh, the NVENC H264 codec if you have an NVIDIA capture card. And then you'll have the AMD one, which I can't remember right offhand because I do not have an AMD video card in my computer. Now you can try this one here. Um, the X264 will probably give you the best setting uh, for recording. But by all means, you can go ahead and try the other ones. If you want to go to a higher bit rate, then that's perfectly fine too. Uh, if you do go to the high setting, just make sure you change this to like 14,000, 15,000, whatever the case is, so you can take full advantage of your, your video. Um, and then that basically be it. All you have to do is make sure, like I said, that when that is cast, you have this on, on your actual screen here. Now my screen is dim just because of the fact that, um, like I said, my batteries are dead on my controller. So I don't really, I should have changed them before I started this tutorial, but I didn't. So the thing is, is that, um, like I said, whatever's up here, that's what you're going to cast. So it's fairly simple. Uh, it's not all that hard to do. So I hope we cleared a couple of things up. If you guys have questions, just go ahead and um, leave a comment down below in the video and I will try and get to it as soon as possible. I hope it's helped you out. I know I've had a couple of people ask me if it's, there's a way to do it without a capture card. Um, so anyways, like I said, hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. So leave a like, a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be bringing more tutorials and more gameplay and stuff for my channel. So anyways, we'll talk to you guys soon and bye for now.